All right, just finished The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. Man, that was that was tough, man. It's like most of it is like a horror novel, right? It's pretty bad. Just describing the working conditions and packing town meat packing industry in Chicago around the turn of the 20th century. It's pretty wild. It tells the story of this family of Lithuanian immigrants. They come to America, they end up in Chicago, and they end up kind of trapped in this house payment in these meat packing jobs. And it describes the meat packing industry at the time, which was pretty horrendous and uh, just describes like the total lack of um, sanitary protocol, um, any kind of health care for the people and just any kind of uh, job security, housing, any kind of just um, just like the working people struggle, the, the poor people struggle in that place at that time. The last few chapters are basically in, in an argument and an explanation of the author's socialist ideologies. Now, I do think this was a, a pretty good, it's, it's almost a piece of history. Supposedly, Upton Sinclair did actually work jobs in Packingtown for the purpose of writing this book. And so that makes it a little bit more interesting. And then the consequences of it, I consider it, uh, I consider it a form of direct action. He wrote this book in order to, he wrote the book in order to further the Socialist Party of America what it actually did was lead to legislation and the FDA and um, and regulation for the meatpacking industries is what happened. Uh, my personal ideas is that party politics are not the way to go. Like if you want change, it has to be some kind of direct action. And this book accomplished that for him. This book did accomplish that. As far as persuading people into the Socialist Party, I don't think it necessarily accomplished that. Although in the last 100 years, 150 years, we have seen a lot of socialist reforms. You know, we do have a lot of, we, do, we did have a lot of socialist reforms. And I think that's kind of undeniable. As far as, you know, economic theories go and like, I don't really subscribe to any of that. Like we have to look at reality, you know, not theories, reality, what's happened, what's happening. So the, the working conditions of uh, poor American people were regulated you know they were improved but then we've exported a lot of industries out of the country to where those same regulations don't necessarily apply and one example you can look at the cobalt mining industry all of us have these these cell phones and this technology right where do the raw materials come from they're still very similar working conditions for the people who supply these products to us and these products are not a necessity of life, right? So anyways, you know, it, it's a piece of history. This, uh, this book helped to make things happen. So in that aspect, I do consider it a piece of history. Apart from that, as a novel in itself, it's just a tragedy all the way through. It's tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. It's horrendous, the things that this family go through. It's terrible, you know? And I think it made its point pretty well. So yeah, um, this is the first time I read it. A lot of people probably read it in high school. 
I didn't, so I'm catching up. But um, it's it's a uh, I recommend it. The Jungle by Upton Sinclair.